right, I'm going to go over the first lesson of um, ancient Rome, starting on page 320. I'm going to use the um, presentation on your uh, curriculum, and then I'll add some other stuff to it. But I wanted to start by showing you the map and um, showing you kind of where it was located in relation to ancient Greece. So let's go to this map here. Now it's kind of small, but here you have Italy. It looks like a boot, right? Here you have the heel of the boot and it's pointing at ancient Greece. So here's Greece and then um, you have Sicily down here and then Rome's up here. So um, Rome started as a small uh, farming community and then grew to be um, a dominating force with some pretty brutal uh, warriors and soldiers and um, a, lot of, a lot of history. So uh, we're gonna start with um, today versus back then and you can obviously still visit Rome. There's a ton to see. I was gonna show you guys some pictures of when I visited Rome and you can see some ancient ruins. All the, a lot of the sculptures are still, still around, lots of beautiful art. So um, let's go ahead and start with the presentation. So today we have, you know, something, it looks, might look something like this at the bottom. Um, if you go, oops, is this the first one? Hold on, sorry. Okay, so it says, long ago Rome was also busy and thriving. Here in the top image, an artist has shown a lively street scene. Merchants sold goods from stalls. People browsed the goods of the marketplace as they walked along busy. Oops, how come it doesn't finish what it's saying? Oh, busy streets, probably. Um, Rome today is a lively mix of modern and ancient. Here, Romans and tourists ascend the Spanish steps, a long scenic stairway leading from one piazza or square to another. Um, so you can see here they have this super wide and long stairway that goes all the way up and um, Roman culture was influenced by a lot of surrounding cultures so you see a lot of like Greece influence some Spanish and different things um, so let's go to the next one um, Romulus and Remus if you listen to the song you probably heard their names According to the legend, Romulus and Remus were the sons of the Roman war god Mars. The historian Livy tells of the brothers' argument about how to build Rome's first walls. As depicted here, Romulus killed Remus in the conflict. There's a lot of ancient stories about brothers killing each other. All right. Estruction mural. All right, so we're going to learn about some of this ancient art. Um, this says, this section of ancient Estrusian tomb mural shows people at a banquet, perhaps after the death of a relative. All three men are wearing tebanas, light clothing. These types of clothes allowed those wearing them to move more easily and help them to keep cool in a hot climate. The fine clothing suggests that the figures in the mural were wealthy. Romans would eventually adopt similar styles of dress. Estrusen murals often showed scenes from daily life. This scene shows music, musicians and dancers at a feast or banquet, possibly a funeral. And when I went to Rome, it was definitely hot there. The first man is playing a lyre, testudo, or small harp-like string instrument while dancing. This shows a double flute being played by a dancing man. The third man is dancing and carrying a Cantharos, a drinking cup with two hands on a footed base. Let's see if I can get away from these words here. There you go. Okay, so there's the lyre. And then there's the two handed flute. And you can see their outfits. They're nice and flowy. So they don't get too hot and they can move around and dance. All right, let's go to the next one. Roman soldiers' equipment. So you have a shield, 
Shields were made from sheets of wood glued together and covered with leather or cloth. Soldier armor was made of iron strips joined by leather ties. The long iron point on the spear was made to bend after the spear was thrown, preventing any enemy from using it. That's interesting. So they couldn't use it against them after they've used it. Okay. Let's review real quick. Um, Italy's location, mild climate, and fertile land attracted settlers. Between 2000 to 500 BCE, Rome was settled by the Latins, Greeks, and Etruscans. Rome was built on seven hills along the Tiber River, making it easy to defend. The Greeks introduced the Greek alphabet, sculpture, and olive and grape farming to Rome. The Etruscans formed transformed Rome from a village with straw huts to one with temples, streets, and public squares. All right, Roman soldiers. So here you can see a, a mosaic. These are tiny little pieces put together to make this really intricate picture, which would be super hard to do but they did it. So their equipment, um, their main focus was training and fighting. They kept fit, marching up to 20 miles a day. Imagine that for your PE, wearing armor made from strips of iron and leather. So you have that on top of doing the 20 miles a day. They also carried many weapons, including the javelin, a type of throwing spear. A short sword was used for thrusting during hand-to-hand -hand combat. Around his waist, a Roman soldier wore a military belt to which a sheath and a short dagger were attached. Soldiers carried large shields in their hand. These rectangular or sometimes oval shields were made out of leather and canvas stretched over wooden frame. Their boots actually looked more like sandals. They laced up over the ankles and had iron nails in the soles for traction, kind of like cleats. These nails made lots of noise and the Roman soldiers could be heard approaching from far away. Their boots made a thundering sound that likely caused fear in the Roman enemies. Organization. The Roman army was highly organized and disciplined, consisting of about 30 legions. Each legion had about four to 6,000 soldiers called legionaries. legionaries. Each legion had 10 cohorts and each cohort about six troops of 80 legionaries. A centurion led each century a group of 80 to 100 soldiers. So cent, remember 100, it means 100. Centurion carried a big stick and had the right to beat any soldier who disobeyed. Discipline in the army was strict. The general had life and death authority over his soldiers. Disciplinary actions ranged from limiting food rations and deduction in pay to death. Roman soldiers usually fought in lines marching forward with their shields facing the enemy. One fighting formation called a turtle consisted of a tightly packed group of men layering shields over their heads and sides, like a turtle shell. Army life. Although originally a soldier's term of service was 16 years, over time it was increased to 25 to 26 years. Pay was low and the soldiers had to pay for their own food and weapons. Besides pay, however, there were some additional benefits. However, these depended on rank. A legionary soldier could receive spoils or stolen items of value from a conquest as well as military awards. A military medal may come in the form of armband of gold, silver, a bronze sculpted disc that could be worn during parades. Upon retiring, a legionary could be granted citizenship, the right to contract a legal marriage, or perhaps even a land grant. Becoming a Republic. The Romans rejected Estruction rule and set up a republic. For the first 200 years, the Roman Republic fought many wars and built a strong army with advanced weaponry and new military strategies. In every conquered region, the Romans built military towns and a network of roads used by armies. So roads was one of the um, engineering inventions that we credit the Romans for, is um, creating really nice roads, really straight roads. The Romans ruled fairly over the conquered people, which helped the Romans gain control of most of Italy. Okay, introducing, introducing the founding of Rome. All 
All right, and this this is for the next lesson. But so um, the earliest Romans believed that they were descended from the from greatness. After all, how could such a powerful people come from anything else? Many Romans regarded Romulus and Remus, the sons of the god Mars, as the original founders of their great city. Others, however, thought that Rome founders were descended from the legendary Trojan War Aeneas. The Roman poet Virgil shares the story of Aeneas and his people as they are forced to leave Troy and arrive in Italy in search of a new home. From ancient Troy, by force expelled, we came if we came. If you by chance have heard the Trojan name on various seas by various tempests, storms tossed, at length we landed on your Libyan coast, the good Aeneas am I called a name, while fortune favored not unknown to fame, my household gods, companions of my woes, with pious care I res rescued from our foes, to fruitful Italy my course was bent, and from the king of heaven is my descent. All right. Let's see. It says read closely to identify the sequence of events from the founding of Rome through Roman Republic's conquest of most of Italy. Record the major events on the timeline. Describe how the Romans were able to take control of most of Italy. Um, we just have to type them in. Hmm, maybe we won't. I thought it was going to be a matching one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Acquire. To get possession of something, benefit. To receive help, to gain. Okay, I don't think we need these either. All right, I think we're about done. We're not gonna do the crossword. All right, so we'll do um, some more on lesson two later in the next video. Um, but hopefully that gave you a little bit of a start on um, Rome. Um, so really just to summarize, um, so Rome became um, a republic after uh, they kind of wanted to, they grew weary of the Estrucan rulers. Um, and the republic is a form of government in which citizens elect their leaders. The creation of a republic began a new era in Rome history. When Rome became a republic, it was still a small city. It was also still surrounded by different groups of people. These groups included the Astrusians, the Greek, and other Latins. Over the next 200 years, the Romans fought many wars against these neighbors. Um, they were able to acquire land because of a strong army. And during the early years of the republic, every male citizen who owned land had to serve in the army. Roman soldiers were well-trained and deserters were punished by death. The strict discipline ensured soldiers stayed loyal to Rome. Um, they also developed new battle strategies. They were well armed. Um, the standard, they had a, uh, the legion had a pole that had a eagle on the top. And uh, because the standard could be seen above the action, it showed soldiers where they were supposed to be on the battlefield. Um, let's see. The Romans stressed the need to treat conquered people fairly. If conquered people were treated well, the Romans believed the people would become loyal. So even though they conquered them, they, wanted, they didn't want to make them all slaves. They wanted them to be a part of the community and feel wanted, and that way they would help and join the army and benefit the Roman uh, society. Okay, let's go ahead and stop that.